Hello and welcome to Train With Me and BSC and today we're going to stretch it out, we're going to lengthen our bodies, we're going to feel amazing. We will be starting in child's pose. Find your way into child's pose with your hips pressing all the way back over your heels with your hands reaching forward. Allow your forehead to rest on the floor. Take one long deep breath here into your stomach, soften your stomach into your chest, soften your chest, exhale out and melt into the ground. With your next inhale, round your way up on your hands and your knees. Pull your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Extend your right leg all the way out behind, your left arm all the way out in front of you. With an exhale, bring knee and elbow together underneath your belly button and round your spine. Inhale to lengthen once more. Try to keep your hips square, your shoulders square. Exhale, bring knee and elbow together underneath your belly button, round. Take another breath in to lengthen. Then place your left hand back down underneath your left shoulder. Activate your core, draw your navel in and upwards. Extend your right arm out in front of you. Try to balance. And then see if you can spiral your belly button over to the side. Open your chest, open your hips. Squeeze your buttocks, bend into your right knee. Reach around your back to catch your right ankle. Once you're there, use it as an assistant. Keep on kicking into your right hand to open even a little more through the hips, through the shoulders. Keep your buttocks and your glutes switched on. Take another breath in here. With an exhale, extend arm and leg. Bring that right leg all the way around in front of you to step it to the inside of your left hand. Scoop both of your hands from the outer hips over your head. Find your low lunge. Take a breath in. Have your pelvis in a neutral position. And then from here, sink down towards the floor. Exhale out. Frame your right foot. Tuck your left toes under. Step it all the way back. Come into your downward facing dog. Round through your hands. Extend your spine long. You can have your knees bent. Start to come high onto your tippy toes. Draw chin towards your chest. The back of your heart pulls you forward as you undulate your way into high plank. Before, without your knees, find your lower plank. With an inhale, push forward and upwards, come into your back bend. Baby cobra is always an option. Activate your core, draw your navel in, charge your legs, press through the top of the feet to come back into a downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up high to the sky, take that breath in. Curl your right knee into your chest, come high on the toes of your left foot. Draw your chin towards your chest and then come all the way through, stepping right foot so gently between your hands. Have your legs strong and magnetized towards another as you undulate your way up high, come into a crescent lunge. Lift the front of your hips up towards your ribs. Have your bum firm, open your arms, left arm to the front, right arm to the back of the room. Let your right hand then come down on your left hamstring. Flip your left palm upwards and then reverse it back and feel that beautiful elongation from your left toes all the way up into your left fingertips. Spin your arms back out of it. Turn both of your feet towards the left side of the room and come into a forward fold over your legs here. Ah, let everything hang and drop. Feel the decompression of your spine, especially in your neck. Be heavy in your toes. Lean a little more into your toes than you normally would to really lengthen the back side of your hamstrings, your calves. With your next inhale, come into half lift. Keep on moving over your left shoulder, turn on your feet, bend your knees slightly and with that bend then the right knee into the back of your left knee, come into half turn and end up <laughs> with your left knee on top of your right foot facing the other side of the room. Try to ground through both of your sit bones, extend your spine nice and tall and then help with your arms as well to extend even more by lifting higher and higher. Keep your shoulders relaxed, keep your face relaxed, place your left hand down in alignment with your left hip, reach with your right fingertips all the way past your right ear towards the left side of the room or the front and then breathe into your right side body. Stay here for another breath in, really feel how Mm, breath is infused and makes you feel more spacious and then release and come back out of it. Over your right shoulder, go for a full turn. Keep your feet <laughs> flexible, pivot on them so you end up with your right foot in front, left foot in the back in a lunge position. Stay grounded through your left hand, pick your right arm up high, reach for the sky, inhale. With an exhale, lean more and more into your left hand. Come onto the knife edge of your left foot. Activate your core, activate your left oblique, and then step that right foot either with a million tiny steps or one big step behind your left knee. Once you're there, find again your strength and spread yourself out. Reach long to the front, to the back, to the ceiling. But stay calm and relaxed. 
by breathing into that shape. Then release, set your right hand back down beside your left hand, right foot beside your left foot. Find your plank position. Bend your elbows to the back of the room to lower into Chaturanga. Push forward and upwards. Come into your Cobra. Stay grounded through your knees and come into your tabletop position. Drop your belly down towards the earth, widen your sit bones to the back of the room, press your chest forward, lift the crown of your head up towards the sky. Squeeze your sit bones towards another, lift your pubic bone up towards your belly button, belly button towards sternum. By climbing up a ladder, start to round your spine more and more. Let's do that one more time. Again, widening the buttocks to the back of the room, lift the ground of your head up high. Take a breath in. With an exhale, round, 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 and really draw your navel in and upwards. Then come into neutral from here and have your core really activated. Extend your left leg out behind, your right arm goes out in front of you. Inhale. With an exhale, bring knee and elbow back together underneath your belly button. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen once more, fire up your core. Let your right hand come down back underneath your right shoulder. Extend your left arm towards the front. And then with so much control, the slower the move, the easier it is, funny enough, start to spiral your belly button to the side, open your chest and your hip. Then bend into your left knee and see if you can reach around to catch that left ankle with your left hand. Once you're there, start to assist yourself for more depth. Keep on pressing into your hands so gently. But feel how you also, at the same time, as you give a little more space, you activate a little more in the opposite, opposite areas to stay stable. Then let go again. Reach long. Step that left foot all the way to the front of the yoga mat, to the inside of your right hand. Bring both of your hands to the outer hips from here. Scoop them up. Take that breath in. Come into a low lunge. Inhale. With an exhale, sink. But try to keep your pelvis in a neutral position. Also feel how your inner thighs are still pulling towards another. And that right hip sits just as far forward as your left hip. Frame your left foot. Tuck right toes under. Lift your right knee. Step it back. Downward facing dog. Exhale out. <sighs> Lift your heels up high, try chin to chest, round your way forward, come into high plank in. With or without your knees, find your low plank X. Inhale to find your cobra, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, exhaling out. Lift your left leg up high, keep on pressing your right heel down as you do so. Curl left knee into your chest, chin to chest, and with that drag yourself forward until you can step your left foot through between your hands. Have your legs strong, have your arms free as you float up, crescent lunge, split your arms, right arm to the front, back, left arm to the back, find your right hamstring, turn your right palm upwards, and then find length, 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 ah, oh. take another breath in here, exhale out, coming back out of it, turn over your right shoulder, have both feet pointed to the side of the room, find your forward fold from here. Maybe this time holding your heels, the knife edges of your feet, your toes, to assist yourself a little more depth. Have your quads really active, feel how you pull your kneecaps up towards your hips. And with that, feel how your hamstring is giving you a little more length. Be brave and lean into your toes. Stay in here for another breath in. Let it all go, maybe open your mouth, sigh out. Then come into a half lift, inhale. Over your right shoulder, pivot on your feet, turn your left knee into the back of your right knee and go a half turn. Pull your feet a little more into the right or shuffle yourself into a right position, feet beside your hips, ground through both of your sit bones, extend your whole spine, reach with your arms up high, high, high. Place your right hand back down to earth in alignment with your right sit bone, your left um, fingertips are reaching past your ear towards the front of the yoga mat. Allow your right shoulder to be dropped away from your ear so you create really length rather than any sort of compressing, compression or any sort of jamming. If you next inhale, come back out of it. Turn now over your left shoulder to untangle your legs. Keep your feet kind of where they are but you uncross your legs and you end up in a lunge position, left foot in front, right foot is at the back of your yoga mat. Extend your whole body long from the heel to the ground of your head. Then ground through your right hand, palm is flat. Turn onto the knife edge of your right foot. Lift your left arm up high. 
Activate your core and then from here step left foot all the way behind your right knee. Once he's there, feel again how you can reach and press and express. <laughs> Taking another breath into that shape. And then reset, bring your left hand back down to earth. Find your plank position. Bending those elbows to the back of the room, press your ribcage on the way down. Push forward and upwards. Coming into your cobra, inhale. And then sink back, coming into a child's pose if you want. You can reopen your knees again a little wider. Find softness in your arms. Let your forehead melt. Stay here for another moment to really observe yourself. Try to be fully indulged in the sensations that are happening inside of you. Let that day just be for a little longer. And stay present with yourself so you know what you need for this day and you can align your action to serve your own needs. Stay as long as you wish to and I'll see you tomorrow again for more. Namaste. <laughs>